Hey guys, it's Tony here, Tony here with episode 139 of this week's Top 10 Hot Collectibles. Collectibles? Collectibles. Collectables or collectibles? Is it T I B L or is it T A B L? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, this week's uh, feature is going to have some uh, an opening of wax packs. Uh, I've got some uh, 1989 Donruss. Uh, I know last episode I did some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I grabbed some baseball packs. Uh, my dad and I would open up packs and try to make sets and we had cards everywhere. Our filing system was behind the couch, in a cushion, on the floor. Mom's filing system was in a dustpan, in the trash. Nah, she collected them too. She she collected them and I don't know where they are. <laughs> but, but we did, you know, I opened up a comic book store in uh, 1991 called Vortex in Silva, North Carolina. And uh, I had an array of comic books and it was right at the prime investing time of sports cards. Man, Donruss, Tops, Panini, Pununu, Valala. I have no idea what other packs they were. But what I didn't know at the time is that the comic book industry wanted to expand into other markets and sports cards wanted to expand in other markets. So they combined forces and doubled their stores. So that was the big, uh, the big fall of uh, wax packs. You know, I think it started late 87 to 93. Right there when I opened up a comic book store and I had baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards, basketball cards. I had them all. I had singles. I had wax packs. I had boxes. I had cases. I had them for display. I opened them up. We played with them. And, uh, you know, I sold them. But uh, those series are just not worth a lot of money because they were billions of these cards mass produced. So that was a, a life lesson learned about, uh, oh, I'll get everything. Just get what you like. Just get what you uh, enjoy. You don't have to collect everything. You, no one has that kind of indispensable uh, income. As I learned through the years, I kind of focus on the 300 things that I like. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to open up uh, some Donruss baseball. This is 1989. And in here is there's two versions of a Ken Griffey uh, rookie card. Oh, and everyone loves to say, yeah, yeah, uh, a PSA graded rookie of a 10 is worth $500. Yeah, they're very seldom all 10s. They're 9s and 8s. They go anywhere from a 100 to $300 if you're lucky. And uh, the Ken Griffey Jr., uh, if you look on eBay, uh, they're worth anywhere from a dollar to $15, depending on who likes their card the most. I don't care. I really want to look in here. So, hey, um, Jan, Mom, and Dad, Ernie, uh, if you're watching, let's pretend like we are open up packs like we did when I was younger, you know, back when I was 26. <laughs> All right, let's get to this area right here. So what we're going to do, oops, wrong, so I'm not using the back wall. So they wax packs. So listen, wax packs, stop putting bubble gum. Top stopped putting bubble gum in their wax packs in 91 and 92. So you never seen them. Uh, this year, Donruss actually stopped putting bubble gum in their wax packs. Collectors were complaining that when they opened up their wax packs, their high dollar collectible cards were ruined. So at wax packs, there's a paper, it's a wax seal, and they're heated up. And if you very careful you can open them up i've seen now i'm not saying that i've seen these guys uh i'm just gonna stop saying i've seen people that take loose ones like this insert them back in here fold them back up apply heat to them and reseal them and sell them if you ever catch somebody do that you 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 tell on them immediately uh i got these packs these packs i think are that's a really nice seal these packs are i'm holding them i'm opening them up I got these packs at a, a place in Greensboro called Nerd Bombers. His name is Michael. Hey, Michael. Uh, I think he's been open up for a year, and uh, that is a puzzle piece card. I'm just going to drop that down. Now, I am not going to be able to read these, so maybe you can help me. Craig uh, Reynolds? I have no idea. We are looking for... Who's that? Gerald Clark of the Pirate Padres. Nice. Uh... Mel Hall, no idea. 
uh, I don't know. I bet you my dad could probably tell me who these guys are. Um, I don't even know who they are. Who's Neil Allen? He's a pitcher. <laughs> we are looking for, is that, what is that? That is Saberhagen? Hey, I know who that is. I was following these baseball players. I was trying to put this set together at the time. Had a ton of them. Terry Steinbeck. So these are actually really pretty cards. Uh, this is none other than, I, oh, remember it's reversed. There we go. Look at that. That is Nelson Lerlano. What in the world? MVP, Kel Ripken. Hey, look at that one. That one's nice. That is a 75 cent card. I'll set that aside. <laughs> Oh, uh, who's that? Carl McMurphy? Craig McMurphy. I can't read upside down. Greg Harris? He's another pitcher. Look at that. That is Warren Spann. I think that is the picture. It's number 588. I'm not going to flip them around. There are some error cards in this set that command big bucks, but I'll be damned if I can't figure it out uh, what's the error. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to scam us or not. Eric Show, Alex Madrid, and then the last one is Danny, what is that, Rigetti? Anybody remember him from the uh, New York Yankees? All right, second pack. Come on, we're looking for uh, Randy Johnson's a rookie this year. Uh, yeah, I think these, these are a good seal. I told you um, I have no idea. They said there's we're missing an asterisk in the back here. Can you see the asterisk? It's it's an error card. This one right there is worth fifteen hundred dollars. I've seen those listings. I think that's ridiculous. Somebody's gonna buy one thing and they've got one. Uh, another puzzle piece. Have no idea what that is. There's a picture of it. This is Tim. What is that? Belcher. Dave Parker. Gotta get him down right close. Oops. I'm trying to do a magic card. Tim Burke. A lot of pictures. Who is that? Oh, that's Alvin Davis. That is nice. <gasps> Who is that? That is none other than Curtis Wilkinson. Nice. That is an Astros guy. Rookie. A rated rookie. Pretty nice. Cameron Drew. I think that one's worth a quarter. These packs, I told you these packs are worth anywhere from three to six bucks. Uh, left unopened and the key card we're looking for there's two Ken Griffey juniors in here uh, that is Bill Schroeders don't know who that was Tim I gotta get him right too much too blindy Tim Flannery look at that help me Mike Maddox who's that Jay Howler Howell Nice. Steve Sachs. That's cool. None other than, how do I get that? Chess Lemon. Tim Wallace. And none other than Andy Van Slyke. Well, no luck. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not batting a thousand or whatever that ratio is. Let's go open it up so you can see what's going on. They smell good. They smell fresh. They're all bent the same. These are, these are legit packs. More puzzle pieces. I think that's that one card that showed us what it looked like. Mickey Hatcher. Van Schneider. Dwight Evans. Come on, Tony Gwynn. I like Tony Gwynn. Bruce Hurst. Man, Bruce. None other than Chris James. I can't tell. Steve, how do you say Lombardozzi? A second baseman? Craig Bigelow. That's pretty cool. Dave Stewart. Glenn Braggs getting out of the last couple cards. A rated rookie. None other than Alex Sanchez. Uh-oh. Scott Bankhead. Jay Bell. Uh-oh. John Schmoltz. Now there's a cool card. I like John Schmoltz. We're down to the last card. That is, is it, oh, look at that. Ricky Henderson. Not bad. Some cool cards. I haven't, I haven't, um, 
haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> really weird looking at baseball cards. But uh, I tried. I failed. It was still pretty cool seeing some uh, childhood packs. I wanted to say thanks for checking me out here on YouTube, where each week I bring you, you know, comic books, action figures, or cards, or wax packs openings. And then also please check out my uh, new page uh, where I'll bring you uh, sports, sports action fun clips of the week, you know, stuff that I find humorous I want to share with you. Guys, I want to say thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you on the next hunt. Bye-bye.